Jim and I look back at the 2014 season, one of the stats that really sticks out to me is the sack numbers. No Robert Mathis in 2014, yet you still had 41 sacks, 42 in 2013, with Mathis obviously in the lineup, and without him, you were only one sack short of that number, but it had to be done in a lot of different ways because 98 wasn't on the field. Well, remember with Mathis, with Robert in the lineup, he accounted for almost 50% right. of those sacks. So they did a good job of, of changing things up and mixing things up and putting pressure on the, on the offensive line to get those sacks without him in 2014. But in two, obviously in 2013, it was a lot easier because he was getting it done. And we're going to show you two plays on how he was getting it done. Right here, the Colts against Kansas City Chiefs are going to run four, rush four guys. But this is the guy right here, Robert Mathis. He's so good. He's so quick off the ball he's so fast he gets to the quarterback so fast he doesn't even give him time to really set up but the problem is he did that fully healthy mm -hmm. now he's going to be coming back for from a ruptured Achilles tendon he's going to have to push off of that whatever Achilles it was his left Achilles I believe and get past these tight ends get past these uh, tackles and get to the quarterback and will he be able to do that because you're going to see right here as this play develops I mean th this tight end that is such a mismatch. It's not even funny. He has no shot in blocking Robert Mathis. Robert gives him a quick swim move. But what's impressive about Robert is the relentless effort to get after the quarterback. I mean, they're going to send an offensive lineman out here to chip him, to get him, to actually double team him, to keep him off the quarterback, and it's not going to get done. He gets by him, and he's just he's going to be relentless. And he gets to the quarterback, and he's going to cause a strip sack fumble, which is obviously what he's really good at. And this was the game-changing play in that comeback playoff win over the Chiefs. This was his last sack in 2013, the following week against the Patriots. Again, an, 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 just Robert being Robert. I mean, just so quick off the football watch. I mean, I mean, he puts his hand down. I think he actually gets to Tom Brady here within a matter of like two seconds. And we can count, kind of count that down. Right, let me clear that. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and he's so good at it that this left tackle doesn't even have a shot. Right. But what I like about it, he's not going after just the hit. He's going after the ball. He's trying to cause turnovers, get his offense the ball back. Uh, you can see the uh, Patriots are in the red zone here. So he's trying to disrupt their offense and give our offense the ball back. I think it's those individual efforts that were missing a bit in 2014.